welcome back to another NaNoWriMo vlog. This is day one of week three. So day 15, we're halfway through the month. Today is a Sunday. I've been sitting here getting some filming and stuff done, which means I haven't gotten any writing done yet today and it's three o'clock. I also have an editing client thing due tomorrow. So I was working on that this morning and we just have not even pulled out my novel yet today. I'm hoping to tonight. I had a really good writing day yesterday. I wrote like 2,700 words, but also I was talking about at the end of the last vlog that my outline is a little bit lacking for these next couple of chapters so I'm a little bit worried. That's honestly probably why I haven't written yet today is because I've been avoiding it. But yeah, if you've missed any of the previous vlogs, I'll have the playlist linked down below in the description. My plan is to jump back to my other novel that has been with my beta readers this week and start working on revisions for that because my deadline to get that to my editor is early January so I don't want to save all of that revision work until the last possible month. So in addition to writing, we're also going to be working on revising that. So I'm trying to set a realistic goal for this week. Last week I wrote I think 15 or 16,000. I'd be happy if we could just get like 12,000 words this week. So that's the plan. I'm gonna keep working on YouTube and Patreon stuff but probably after dinner tonight is when we will pull up the book and hopefully get some writing done. Maybe we'll do some writing sprints or something but I think I just need to sit down with my outline and all of my prep work and figure out why these chapters are so lacking in my outline and plan them out before I try and sit down and write. So I think it's gonna be a long night. So it's now 4.45. I have started writing for the day. I pulled out all of my old like world building stuff and actually looking over all of these plans that I made, um, I see a lot of missed opportunities of like things that I planned and then didn't like outline into the book. So these gaps that I'm feeling in my story, I'll still have to figure out where to put things, but these notes are really helping me. I'm like, oh yes, I did want to do something like that. Oh yes, I wanted to include that. I'm glad I did all of these notes. Looking at these gave me a lot of ideas of scenes and stuff to do. So let's see how much we've written so far today. I literally just started, I've written like three pages. We've written 527 words. I'm like just over a thousand away from hitting 30,000 though. So I think that's my goal for today. I'd love to hit 30,000. And the good news is this scene that I thought I had no idea what I was doing with because it was so vague in my outline, all of my prep work, I, I know exactly what I'm gonna do with this chapter now and it's gonna be pretty fun to write. I hate this time of year. Look how dark it is in here and it's only 5.30. But I just finished with my writing for the day. We just got to 30,008 words. So this is how much I've written. That's good enough for me today. I'm definitely realizing more so today than in previous days. I got a lot of work to do with this draft. <laughs> I tried really hard to outline and prepare and world build as much as I could ahead of time, but there's just so much to juggle. And I'm feeling a little overwhelmed and a little bit worried about how messy revisions are going to be, but I'm just trying not to think about that while I'm writing the rough draft to let that slow me down. There's a lot of work to be done. I think I say that every time I'm writing a rough draft is there's going to be a lot of work to be done. But yeah, we hit 30,000 words today. That's awesome. The 30,000s in a manuscript is always my least favorite part to write. I don't know why that's always when I start to feel kind of like slumpy, but I'm glad that we got some writing done for the day and hopefully tomorrow goes just as well. Okay, so um, I know I was just talking about how I was stressing about there's so much to do, this draft is so messy. So I just sat down and did something that made me actually feel a lot better. So in case you're in a similar situation, I thought I would share. So I just pulled up the notes pad on my computer. I don't wanna like show you so you can read anything in particular, but literally the heading says plot threads. I'm worried I've dropped or not developed enough. And I just made a list of everything that I'm not sure about or I feel like is gonna need revisions later on. Just so I don't forget anything, cause sometimes things like occur to you in certain chapters and then you forget them later or whatever. So I made a list so that even though I'm not gonna start revising for a long time, just to give myself kind of peace of mind that I'm not gonna forget all of these things. There's currently 17 bullet points. Um, they're not necessarily like things that are problems, just like questions I have or things that I want to revisit or just like look at again, just things to keep in mind. If you're also in the middle of writing a rough draft and you're like freaking out about revisions or you are just like hyper aware of all of the potential issues with your manuscript, instead of stopping and trying to go back and fix those things now and ruin your momentum for finishing the rough draft. I don't know why my camera's like, insisting on focusing on something back here instead of my face. Um, basically, the purpose of this was to make the list so I have it for later and I don't have to stress about it. It's out of my head. I don't have to worry about forgetting about it, but I also don't have to stop drafting and losing that momentum and start revising or anything right now because I'm not ready to do that. So just making that list helped me. 
I feel better now. Now we're gonna call it a night with the writing. It's 5.45. Dean is really hoping we're gonna play. So I'll update you tomorrow. Also, sorry, I keep thinking I'm ending the clip for today and I'm not. So I posted last week's vlog today and I wanted to address a question that I got on that blog. Um, I said in the last vlog, if you have questions that you want me to answer, next week leave them in a comment so I got some questions and there's one that I feel like I have too much to say on to respond to it like in a comment their comment said my question for the Q&A is how do you manage to get writing done while grieving or stressing I recently lost my best friend to COVID and I'm struggling to write stuff so first off I am so sorry. Like, I can't even imagine what you're going through right now. So my answer to this question is if you feel like you want to be writing right now, like you think that's something that's going to help you, that's one thing. But if you feel like you should be writing right now and you're like putting pressure on yourself, know that you don't have to. There's different kinds of writer's block or like inability to write. And there's certain things that I think you can push through and you should push through. And then there's some things that you don't have to push through that. Like sometimes there's certain kinds of grief or there's certain things happening in your life when pushing yourself to write something like isn't going to help. Giving yourself a break is what you need more. So, I mean, only you know how you're feeling and what's going to make you feel better. So if you're feeling like you just can't write right now because of all of your emotions and everything you're going through right now, I think that's totally fine. There's certain periods in my life when I've gone through things when I just couldn't write during that period. And then there's sometimes when I was grieving or I was going through something and writing helped. So I think figuring out one or the other, is this something that's going to help or do I just need a break from this? Is is the first thing because you might just need a break and that's totally fine. And then how do you manage to get writing done while grieving or stressing? I think it's all about balance and it's about being gentle with yourself and not putting too high of expectations on yourself. So if you're like doing NaNoWriMo this month and you just feel like you can't hit the 50,000 words, you could definitely change that goal to something that's more manageable for you. Maybe you just want to write every single day. It doesn't really matter what the word count is. It doesn't matter how much you get written. You just want to keep trying. Maybe you want to try and write something different. Maybe you usually write novels and you want to try poetry or you want to try a short story. Again, I'm really sorry. <laughs> this reading this question made me so sad. My first instinct when I read this was just to say, there's some times in your life when I think you just have to let yourself process what you're going through and maybe writing at the same time just isn't realistic for you and there's nothing wrong with that. So if any of you guys watching this have any other advice on this situation, if you wanna talk about how you manage to write, if you're grieving or you're stressing, I'd love to see it down below in the comments. I'm sure we all have different answers for that, but I think my number one piece of advice would be to be gentle with yourself, be kind to yourself and be flexible with yourself right now. And again, I'm I'm so, so sorry. My heart really, really goes out to you. On that note, I am going to stop updating you for today and we shall chat tomorrow. Hey everybody, happy NaNoWriMo day 16. Today is Monday. My hair's in a bun. It just looks like I don't have any hair now. I've had a weird morning. I woke up at like three o'clock this morning and then I couldn't fall back asleep. And I was like, all right, well, I'm just gonna waste my time and lay here and not be able to sleep. So I was like, I might as well be productive. So I got up and I've, so I've been up and moving since like 3.30. I did my laundry at like four in the morning. I got my workout in this morning. I edited two videos. <laughs> I got some writing done for NaNoWriMo. I just finished up with an editing client, did some meal prep. Like I've had a whole day's worth and it's only 11 o'clock. So I'm thinking a nap will be in order today. So I had a deadline for an editing client today, which I just sent over. And I got a new one in today that I'm supposed to start today. So I'm gonna like make a plan and just kind of see what I'm working with with that one. But other than that, all I have left to do is working on my own project. So um, what I've written so far for Nano, I really like the chapter that I've been writing. And we've written 1,160 words for today. So I definitely wanna write at least a little bit more. And I'm thinking I might pull out my stuff for Joe's book to start my revision plan for this next draft. Yeah, yesterday ended up being a huge filming day. so. I got a lot of videos done so I edited two of them this morning but I still have two more to edit so maybe we'll do that later but yeah it's 11 o'clock and I already feel like I've gotten everything done for the day which is kind of crazy so I'll update you once I have a chance to write some more okay so I added a little bit more to my nano project it's now 12 45 basically I just finished the chapter that I was in the middle of so I'm gonna take a break from this and we're jumping over to work on revisions for Joe's book I'm excited I've been wanting to do this for a while so basically I want to make a revision plan before I jump into anything that's always the hardest part for me with revisions is like 
figuring out where to start, getting myself organized. It can be really overwhelming when there's like all of these like different things to do. So I've already made a list of a lot of the big picture things I know I need to do and I'm just kind of comparing that with my beta reading comments and some of my beta readers annotated the book as they were doing it so I'm also going to be pulling up their copies of the book so I can see what they commented in certain chapters. And what I usually do every time I start a new draft is I make an outline of what the book looks like right now so I know like what order the scenes are in, what happens in each chapter. I need to write a couple of new scenes, just like one or two, but there's a couple of like developmental things that I need so I just need to figure out what chapters I can like sprinkle little details in um, and there's quite a few like arcs that I need to do that for. I just need to pick something and get started. I'm very overwhelmed right now and I'm trying not to get caught up in that. One thing I've learned about myself with this book, the book that I'm currently writing, and also with the book before this, I struggle with timelines. And in this book in particular, it's a little trickier because I have a then timeline and I have a now timeline. So I have two timelines I have to hammer out and make sure those make sense. I think I also struggled this with the first book with the Interpretivity Pact. <laughs> so I think I'm literally going to make like a flow chart or like a what is the word for that? I guess just like a timeline and put each event on the timeline and when it's happening just like in a year. So that's what we're gonna get started on. I've been stressing about this for a while so once we get started and we start making some progress and my list of all these things I want to do I know I'm gonna start feeling better. It's the fact that I haven't been able to start yet because I've been too busy with other things that has been stressing me out. And it's only one o'clock which is nuts because I've been up for so long so I'll probably need a nap but we got enough caffeine. For now, we're good. I made my timeline. I'm shook. I think why this is throwing me off so much is because the then and the now are so different. Because the then bounces around timeline-wise basically for the whole school year. So like each chapter is a drastically different like month, day, week, whatever. Whereas now, I just figured out all happens in about a week. No wonder I was so confused. I don't know why it like didn't, like I knew they were closer together but it didn't occur to me that this was literally like a week, maybe a few extra days, and then the last chapter jumps forward like two months, but. Okay, so that clarified some stuff. I think I might do the same thing for then, just to kind of get a feel. Then is a lot more complicated, like I said. It jumps around, it doesn't jump around. It's all still linear, but it's not in a row, like a week for now, so. Figured that out. I don't know why that was so surprising to me. Okay, now we've made the then timeline. This also helps a lot, so instead of spanning a week or so. This one goes from like August to March. So glad I did both of those. That'll help. I can't decide if I want to tackle these like singular scenes. Both I have to revise a couple, I have to move a couple in the timeline, and I have to write a couple of new ones. Or if I want to start with these arc things where I have to like sprinkle stuff in throughout. I think I might start with the individual scenes. That seems more manageable. And at least I can like check that off the list. That'll feel satisfying. Honestly, I got some comments on beta readers like asking about the timeline. I might just honestly add the date as like a subheading under the chapter, especially because right now the subheading is now or then, so you know what timeline you're in. But do like now, March, whatever, then January. Like that would possibly just take care of that whole potential confusion. It's now three o'clock. I don't know why I'm updating you so much on the edits. Hopefully this is interesting, but it's going well. Oh, this t-shirt is just like gigantic and I feel like no matter what I do, it just looks weird hanging on me. No, we've made so much progress. Things are going well. I feel so much better now. Um, it always seems like so much more daunting when you have this huge list, but I've been slowly chipping away and a lot of them have been pretty easy fixes, so this is good. But now I'm stuck because I have one chapter that has a couple of different scenes in it and I want to split up the timeline more, so I want to move one of those scenes to a different chapter but because I have alternating chapters with the two timelines, that screws everything up because I don't have another chapter in the other timeline to keep the balance. And also I like the order because they kind of like work together. Like you learn something in the then timeline and then the now timeline kind of like reflects something that's related to that, you know? So the order is important. So I don't want to move this one later, but that means I need one of the ones earlier to be able to be split up. I don't know, man. I'm we might just have to come back to this. Maybe I'll end up writing a new scene that will help fix this problem, but we shall see. I am amazed. It's 3 o'clock. I'm not even tired. I've been up since 3 a.m. It's probably all the caffeine. Check back with me in an hour. I'll probably be unconscious. I'm just really excited that this is going well and I've just been kind of like reading through the book again and just like smiling to myself. I love this book so much. It needs some work still, but 
I really, really like this book. I'm really excited for you guys to be able to read it. If you didn't know, by the way, there's a Goodreads page up for this book, so you can add it to your to-read shelf on Goodreads if you want. And um, I've gotten some questions asking about the release date. I have not set a release date yet, but it's definitely going to be spring of 2021, probably around March. April is when this will be coming out. I should probably work on some of the other things I need to do tonight, but I'm on a roll with this, so we're just gonna stick with this. Also though, in terms of NaNoWriMo, I have been like adding to quite a bit of these scenes and writing a lot more. I think I've added like a thousand words to this so far. So that, in addition to the word count that I've added to the other book, I think they should both count. They're new words written this month. So we've written over like 2,000 words today. So it's a good day. Good morning, happy NaNoWriMo day 17. Today is Tuesday. We're sitting on the floor because I was sitting here drinking my coffee and stretching. We got started this morning, I wrote one page. I wrote the first page of a new chapter, which is 137 words. So I ended up only getting like 1,200 or 1,300 words written for the new project yesterday. However, I got so much edited of Joe's book. I almost told you the title. My goodness. I added at least like a thousand words to that on top of changing a ton of stuff. So I'm very pleased with my progress yesterday. So we'll see what we can get done today. We have pretty much the same things on the agenda, right for NaNoWriMo. I'm about to go work out, keep revising Joe's book. I have an editing client, videos to edit, cats to entertain. Speaking of cats, one of them apparently coughed up some hairballs all over my office. So I'm gonna have to go clean that up. So yeah, I'll update you later. Hello, it's now, I think like one o'clock. I'm standing in here because my dishwasher's running and it's really loud. And I look really gross because I just worked out and got super sweaty, not realizing my hot water's not working and I don't want to take a shower in ice cold water because I'm already freezing. So that's what's happening. I have been working on my book a little bit. I did some editing client work and now I'm working on NaNoWriMo. I think I've written like 800 words. And what I'm realizing is, I think I was saying this before, I have a gap in my outline and I'm realizing I'm gonna have to go back and add a ton of chapters. And I've been trying to figure it out as I go, which is the scene that I've been writing so far. And I'm realizing like, I don't wanna slow myself down. Um, I'm really killing my momentum with this. So I have four more chapters outlined, which are gonna be the climax of the book and the ending of the book. So even though there's something missing here before that happens. I'm just gonna jump ahead and keep writing the chapters that I've already outlined because I'm really excited to write them for one thing and also just because I already have them all planned out. I'm usually someone who likes to write pretty much in order from start to finish for the book, but I think we're just gonna write out of order a little bit this time around. Write these next four chapters and hopefully by the time I'm done writing these four, I will figure out what I need to go back in and add. But yeah, right now we're at 32,000 words. Hey guys, I'm thinking this vlog Probably got split into two parts again, too, because this is getting long. It's almost five o'clock. I've been sitting here, I don't know if you can see this, on my laptop working on revisions for Joe's book pretty much all day. Dean's scratching behind you. Yeah, I did get some writing for Nano done earlier. I've written about a thousand words. That might be all that I get done with that today because I really am just focusing on Joe's book now. Now that I'm working on both projects, I'm like okay with getting fewer words done on Nano because I'm also working on a different project at the same time, so it just makes sense. Joe's book, if you've been following this whole process and how I've been struggling with the word count, we're officially over 60,000, <laughs> so that's good. I basically skimmed through the whole draft that I have now and annotated it myself and left comments of like, well, maybe you could add a scene to this chapter. Maybe you could put a new chapter in between these two chapters. Maybe you could develop this more in here and just kind of where I wanted to make these changes. And it's going well. I was planning on waiting until December to start these revisions. That way I could just focus on NaNoWriMo for November, but now that I'm working on it, I really want to give myself as much time as possible because I do not want to put this out unless I'm 100% satisfied with it and I'm like 100% sure that this was the best that I could do and to do it justice because I really love these characters and I really love, love this story. So I don't want it to feel rushed at all. If it takes me longer to finish my NaNoWriMo project, that's okay. Because I'm still working on the NaNoWriMo book every day. It's just a little bit less every day. So it's just going to take me longer to finish it, which is fine. Honestly, I'm proud of myself. This is the fastest I've gotten through a book. Like, knock on wood, we're not done yet. But if you haven't been around for this whole process, I wrote the rough draft of this book in July for Camp NaNoWriMo. And I have to send it to my editor for final rounds of edits. Like, we're not going to do any major changes after that, except me accepting the changes that my editor makes in a proofread. So from finishing the rough draft, I'm giving myself five months to get this book into, like, final which is the fastest I've ever done a book 
for sure. But it feels manageable. Like I don't feel like I'm rushing, which is good. And I'm aiming for a March release. Late March is what it looks like it's going to be just because of me waiting on my cover designer, which is only taking a little bit longer than expected because I'm also redoing the first cover. So obviously getting two covers made takes a little bit longer than one cover. So that's crazy. Not even a full year will pass from when I started working on it to when it comes out, which is definitely the fastest I've ever done a book. Anyway, that's what I've been working on. That's what's going on. I'm really pleased with the way this draft is coming along. It, the book is coming together. I have some more clarity now on things that I needed to change that I couldn't quite figure out before. So it's going well. I'm happy with it. It's nice that that one's going well when I feel like I've kind of hit a speed bump with the nano book. So at least one of them's going well. The nano book is still going well. I just, we got some things to figure out with this one still. Hey guys, this vlog ended up being a lot longer than I was expecting. So I've decided to split it up into two different parts. If you're watching this in the future, part two is probably already available. I'll have the link for the playlist of all of my NaNoWriMo vlogs down below in the description if you want to catch up on other vlogs or see the next one. So this is going to be the end of part one. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you're having a fabulous day. Maybe subscribe and stick around if you're new. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. All of the usual stuff. I'll just see you guys in part two. Bye. So hit me. So hit me. Hit me. First a confession. With you, I feel a connection. With